Morning, welcome back to our cast angler. So we're back in the boat. It's pretty early as you can see with the sunrise behind me and it's actually a bit cold but plan today is to go find some uh, pockets of tuna and hopefully get some mad hookups and uh, fingers crossed we get the uh, landing all down pat before the sharks have a go. So cracking morning. This is what we do it for and the fish is just a bonus. Let's get into it. later on if I get into the schools of tuna and I can't get a bite might be able to pitch one of them in and, and get the conversion so the plan is to go back over that bait um, get a get a few and um, I'm gonna throw one out as a live bait because there's just so much bait there there should be something you think there'd be something lurking so let's get into it hopefully there is of course Mad tangle. Um, been on this for a long time. Hey, we're on straight up. Ah. Might just send it down, just get a couple more. Get a full string. Probably no point just settling for one or two. And we can get a couple. I don't want to swim back down, so that's cool. Clear herring. It's not even yakka. Okay, still make good pitch baits. Nice. Don't mind that actually. Well, mate's not exactly ripping the line out. string of something more what we wanted just a heap of herring yeah. and it's working a treat Gonna leave it down there. Try and load all the all the hooks up. Used to do this as a kid up in Gladstone Marina years ago. Oh yeah. And I got a tailor. So, that's not an absolute mess of a... You were greedy and took two. That's terrible. I don't know why. Oh, got my first yakka. Yeah. All right, we're come off the back of that school now, so hopefully there's a couple of yakas just hanging off the back like there was before. And that'll be the end of my live baiting expedition because I have plenty to pitch bait with. And then we're gonna get on with finding some schools of fish somewhere doing something. And I don't think it'll be too long. Uh, cool. 
Yakas. I want it. Got this dude out. I want to get in close to them. So the birds are into him now. I'm going to leave my livey out. He can just be Rodney the rod holder. Hopefully get me a sneaky tuna. And then I can concentrate on casting. It's going to happen sooner or later. They had to come up, but... Okay, got a bit of action up behind here. Got Rodney the rod holder out with, with our live yakka. I'm just gonna leave him doing his thing. Oh yeah, they're still there. So I'm not going to um, go flying into them. Trying to keep a nice constant pace. They look like they're fairly good tuna too. Actually, thought they'd be hard on the coast in this Wesley. So much bait sitting in close here, so it makes sense. I don't know, Rodney might come up with the goods for me. Hopefully, we can. Uh, oh. Look at that! That is solid. That is solid. I'm nowhere near it, but... It's nice to get a cast off, that's for sure. Check out my easy meal. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that didn't take long. There we go. Pitch bait getting done. Straight out the back. That was what I was hoping for. Just a sneaky subsurface. That's so good. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, I think this is what we're after. It's gonna give it the business. Yaka, suit. Oh, Yaka. Run the circle behind him, so probably going a little bit harder than I would if I was just flicking medals, but. Trying to wear him out. Get him in the boat. Get the job done if we can. Found the school though. Some decent tuna. A lot of little ones, but there are some decent ones as well. Couple seasons back, I 
14 year combo is specifically a chase tuner. This 83 Komodo by Akima and running a 6000 Akima Cedros. Running either 20 or 30 pound braid, TT React braid. And I'm running, I think it's 40 pound or 50 pound litre. Can't remember. Going deep, it's typical on the tuna. Typical tuna fishing right now. You can hear that braid singing. It is singing. Here he comes, he's coming up. He's right in the glare though, so I can't actually see how good he is. Oh, there he is. He's, he's all right. He's not a bad one, that's for sure. Not a bad one at all. Let's try and get him before the sharks do. Yeah, look. There you go. It's not a bad one. Will it? Another way. I didn't think he was going to be happy to see the boat. Guys, he's gone again. Oh, he's up. I don't know whether that's a shark up him or not. Hopefully, not. Hopefully, it's just, just he's scared of the boat. Getting tired, which is good because I'm getting tired too, buddy. Tell you what, A3 rod, a fair bit of backbone. Right. Gonna crank him up. Maybe not. This is what makes them so good. They just never give up. They just never give up. They will give you stick until the very end. Until the very end. I am chasing a feed of longy if I can get it. So this one will be coming home for sure. tired but never given up we not giving up not giving up not giving up I have so much drag on him now it's ridiculous He's still going come on come on
not like the look of the boat, is he? You know what I mean about these never go up? Like this fish is tired. And he's gone again. But it's a scary place. Boat is a scary place. I thought we were done. Just about, but apparently not. Apparently, still going. This is the first time I've actually come out pitching sort of live baits or uh, even floating baits for tuna. So very, very happy for it to be super effective. Even just to get a hook up, I'm pretty pumped. Get the fish, I'll be even more pumped. Okay, crank the drag. I'm not going anymore on the drag just to try and get him up and get a shot on the gaff. There we go. Here we go. Here we go, maybe. Maybe. I felt the hook. You felt that? I missed him. That was a bad gaff shot. Bad. Got confused, didn't know whether to go for his, get him in the mouth or just get the shot. What I should have done was just get the shot. Oh, has he got a buddy or a shark with him? I need to get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get up here. Oh, God, that was nearly bad. Not a great gaff shot, that's for sure. But how's that? Oh yeah. Wow. There you go. Nice big tuna. Oh. God, that was a uh, marathon. Give us a look at him. that Woo. nice big barrel not a great shot on the gaff there's either another tuna or a shark come up having a look at him so he started getting a bit schizo needed to uh make it happen so here it is all right drifted a long way took a couple of photos and um and um, we're off to school well and truly, so I'm gonna push back into the coast, get out of this westerly a little bit because it is freezing. Um, probably didn't see, it's a bit gruesome, I guess. I don't bleed the fish straight over the side, I bleed them into a bucket. Uh, that way, if there's any sharks or predators around, hopefully, it's just gonna keep them away for a little bit longer. It means I'm gonna enjoy the fish a bit more. Um, before I start getting sharked heavy. So, bleed them into a bucket, get them on ice, and uh, I haven't measured that one, but that's that's every bit of meter of long tail, so pretty stoked. And uh, I've just got another yakka ready. Um, 
All I'm running is a circle hook on a like a, a snap swivel. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I literally rolled my lure off, rolled the circle hook on, which has been good. Um, means I can go harder on the fish and not be too worried about pulling hooks. If that circle hook's in, it's in. Uh, it's gonna be really hard for that fish to shake it, even rolling around and doing directional changes and all that sort of good stuff. So, um, pretty excited. First time pitching liveys at uh, the long tails, but uh, yeah, on the board. Like, what more can I ask for? Bloody stoked. Ew. So one thing, oh look. Give it a second. Now we'll go. This is my favorite way to fish a tuna, by the way. It's not liveys. It is on the cast. But when I'm after a feed, We'll use every trick in the book and uh, didn't plan on coming out getting live bait but it has worked today so very happy Yes. Yep. All right. Now I'm in trouble. Got to get this dude. Got to get this dude in. I don't know what he's doing. Thinking he wasn't that weighty, but he's feeling pretty good. Try and swim in for a bit. Get my other, get my other, my live in. Come on. Where, oh, where's my livey gone? What's going on there? Oh, come on. There he goes. Uh. Well, Lobby, he's a daddy. He's all right, we got him. All right, sorry for the chaos. Chaos is good. I'm just gonna keep motoring past this school. I reckon this is another long tail. I reckon this is another longy. There he goes. Oh, you see that hit down there? Christ, that was good. Well, I know there's stuff going on. She's getting excited. I'm giving it, giving it the business. Gotta look at it. Oh, big one in front. Big one in front. Sandy down the bottom. All right. Sometimes not the best technique. I am gonna try and just keep, keep walking my tuna. There he is. Ah, oh, it's a mackie. Just a mackie. Put up a good fight though. Put up a great fight. I think it's a Mackie. Oh. Yeah, definitely a Mackie. How good's that part? Great. 
Awesome. He's pretty tired. Come here. Come here. On the cast too. It's great. There you go. Nice Mac tuna. Oh, how good's that? Thanks, buddy. Best way to best way to look after these dudes, just get them in there. on it he's on it he's on it he's on it oh did you see that how good is that yep how's that for a take what even was that Oh, bleeding hardcore, whatever it is. What is it? Is it a mackerel? No. He's not going. He's not looking good. That was a spectacular take. Unfortunately, busting up here. We're gonna bust up central. Unfortunately, um, I got his gill raker. Didn't really want to keep any Mac tuna today. Don't really need them today. And I took the risk of throwing him back and he didn't go back any good. Um, came straight back to the surface, but like literally a couple of seconds later, there's a few dolphins right up behind him, so. He went to good use, fed the dolphins, so tuna over there, let's get into it. Let's not get into it. They're gone. Yep. A little Mac Trina by the looks of it. Ah, oh, he's going. And he's bleeding flat out as well. Not so good. Pound for pound, these guys don't go as hard as a long tail, but they put up a good account for themselves. Great fun, great fun sports fishing.
don't quite have uh, oh, the same uh never say die attitude that you get out of a a long tail let's try and keep him swimming but all in all great fun there you go smashed it absolutely inhaled the uh, flanker so I don't think this dude's gonna get back any good had him down in the gills but uh you know well there you go smashing glasses so flanker's a good Snowbill sized glassy by the looks of it. Cool fish. Unfortunately, this one's not coming back because I don't think he's going to make it, so we use him up. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Outcast Angler. I have no idea how good the audio is going to be or not. Um, it is quite windy out here. I've uh, kept the Mac one Mac tuna, kept that long tail, so there's plenty of fish for me to take home. Um, and the schools have thinned right out so I think it's time for me to head in, get some brekkie, drink some coffee and then work out the next adventure. Cheers for tuning into the channel, hope you enjoy the content and if you do please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next adventure. Ew.